Okay, so here it is. This is my IEG Stage 2 12.5 to 1 open deck uh, long block, and let's see where it is. Also, I'm trying to uh, film on a different setting on my action cam to see if it's better, so if it's worse, just deal, deal with it temporarily. Okay, so the lid came off, and here is my long block, and I don't know what these other boxes are, so we'll see what they are. Okay, so the first box was, it looks like, all the parts that they did not use um, that I bagged and tagged. So I'm assuming the second box is that also. So the other boxes were uh, the pulleys and the sensors and stuff off the old uh, block. And then all of the old head parts I got replaced, like the springs and uh, the retain or the retainers. The retainers, uh, also retainers, I guess, some spark plugs and whatnot. Okay, I have removed the sides for the box. Now I just got to remove the packaging and lay it flat and put it on my hoist. So now that I unbolted everything, I uh, decided to cover up all of the holes so nothing got in there. And So this is the bag with the injector parts in there, but as you can see, there is only one injector and I paid for all four of them. So I'm not sure where this is going, um, but I'm calling to, to clarify. Okay, now I have my engine up on the stand and I taped over all of the openings. One thing that I did confirm with uh, IG is that you can time these engines without the pulley and the sensors unlike the EJ. So um, I will just transfer over the pulley from my main engine because it's cleaner and then get new uh, solenoids on there because these solenoids are known to uh, break and I don't want to put one that was glittered or an old one through a brand new engine. Um, I also did confirm with them that they accidentally left three injectors on uh, the shipping table so they are overnighting those to me so I should be able just to plug and play the direct injectors um, on there. One, uh, I guess one fun fact is they didn't realize that the injector comes already fully built. So I have a whole bunch of spare gaskets and O-rings and stuff for all the injectors. Um, overall, it's a uh, pretty good engine. Some things that I know I will need to get is a new water pump. I don't want to use an old one. Um, I'm going to get new coils and I also need to tape up another hole. Um, I'm going to get another fuel pump because I don't want to run old an old one um, and then I need to get whatever you call that door for I believe uh, coolant I need to seal that up um, as well as I believe whatever you call this uh, block off plate I think an EGR was supposed to go there in theory but they just never put one in there um, overall I still have a lot of work to do. I have to transfer over, I think, I don't know if I'm going to use the donor harness or the new harness, but then I'm going to transfer over um, the, the intake manifold, and I'm going to use the old crossover um, pipe because I don't know what's in my blown crossover. Um, and that is all for now. I will be going on vacation for a week, so I will not be building this, but there will be more videos to come. Uh, and that's it.